City Light here, bringing you another video, another DIY tutorial. Um, I saw another YouTuber, um, his channel is called Rick V, and he decided to, you know, seal the little hole um, that's in your Riker wheel. So he um, provided information, and I, I actually liked the way it looked on his motorcycle. Um, and he pretty much went to Amazon and ordered some, I guess you call it plastic pipe plugs from Prescott Plastics. And I'll leave a link in the description box below of how you can order these from Amazon.com. And pretty much you order these, they're $10 for a pack of four, um, or $9.99, you know, plus tax. Um, and so this is what they look like. Just a plastic cap. I believe they were one and a half in diameter, one and a half inches in diameter. And so I only need three. So basically what I've done is I've actually went to my Cricut Maker earlier today and decided to put some vinyls on them. So these vinyls correspond with the leopard print vinyls that I have with a little holographic effect to them. So basically I've cut these in a certain diameter. And so let's go over here. So I don't know if you can see this that well, but this is my Cricut design space. And basically I've put enough to cover four caps. We only need three of course, but I've just did enough for four. Um, and the di diameter that you want to do, if you do have a Cricut maker or know someone that does, um, that seems to fit perfectly, is 1.478 by 1.478. It's a perfect circle. So this right here, 1.478 by 1.478 seems to work the best. So yeah, so this is how... I've placed the finals up there, just pop them up there, make them smooth. Let's go ahead outside and do the install to see how they look. Let's see how this works out. Hopefully I can get it in there. Gotta work around that ring. Okay, it seems pretty good. I can tell I already like the look. Let's do the other side. Now, for the rear. This is a little harder because I got to get under these saddlebags. Can't apply the force just yet. And lay on the ground. rear is clearly a little more challenging to get in there. Use a lot more force. All right, that's as tight as I can get it. Hey, came back. I just didn't feel right with these caps. They weren't sitting as flush. At least the rear wasn't sitting as flush. So what we did, we went back and actually just cut out more of a spot. If you can see right here, get the angle right, more of a spot. So it when that where that red ring is, it'll fit in there. Um, so we did the rear wheel like this and it fits 
you know, like 100% better. So I took the other two out and decided to do the same thing for the fronts. Um, I will be, you know, anytime I wash the Riker or forget and rain, I personally want to check. I probably pop them out and check to make sure water's not getting in there and getting sealed, in, sealed inside there. Um, so I want to prevent rust. I don't have any rust now. Never had an issue with rust. Um, so I don't want these to, you know, cause more problems. So I'm still going to take it for a test spin and make sure they don't spin out. All right. So I got back from my little test drive and everything with these uh, inserts seemed to be working well. They didn't pop out on the highway. So that is a great thing. And I love the way they look. And C said when I was riding and the sun was hitting them, they gave off those reflective colors that I like. So it's not a bad DIY for, you know, $10. I'm very pleased with the end result.